drill press. It's simply meant for drilling some holes. I'm gonna drill a few holes. I want you to listen to the sound of the machine. Uh, kind of pay attention to my hands here. Okay, here we go. There. Okay, this time, listen to how the sound changes as I pass. You'll hear a difference in sound once I make it. Okay, so I'm in the board right now. How do I know when I've passed through the board? We have that one a lot. Okay, so listen to the sound. When you're actually on here, you can feel it in the handle too. But listen. Okay, so I'm in the board right now. Can I hear that? I just passed through the bottom of the board. Okay, I'm down in this hole in the hole right down in there. Okay, in the scrub. So that's that. Uh, if you remind me, any left handed people in the group? Any lefties? Okay. If there was a lefty, I would tell him you still need to drill right handed too. It's the same grip for both. Okay, so that's the drill press. Let's uh, take care of some questions. Top to bottom. Number one, two hole beef stock board with a clamp. I did not do that with a clamp. This is the clamp we're talking about. That would be even more safe than what I just showed you right there. You can clamp it down, it's really in place. Okay, but I, I choose to just use my spare hand right here. Hold on. So, Yep, that's definitely very safe to do. Number two, I'm actually going to demonstrate number two. It says to keep your long hair away from the spindle. This is the spindle right here, the truck, uh, by keeping it tied back. You already know that answer. Let me show you what happens if hair or loose clothing actually gets into this one. Okay? Uh, so let's simulate this is my long hair hanging here. Dang it's in the machine. Wash off the quickly. Okay. Okay, this is my long hair. <laughs> okay, how much time do we have to save ourselves if we get caught in here? Number six talks about keeping the long end of your material, your board, to the left of the operator. I'm the operator of the machine. Okay, is this board sticking out to my left or is it out to my right? When I when I was drilling earlier, is that to my left or to my right? Left. To my left. Okay, this is the only grip right here. Okay, if I had it out to my right, okay, this means I have to cross my arms. I can't even see what's going on. My arms in the way, so that's a problem right there. Okay, another reason, a bigger reason, is once in a great while, when you're drilling in the hole the board will get caught and stuck on there. Usually it's one that drilled its belt, so it's not safe, you know. This thing will spin, it spins the, that direction what's going, and you know how fast that happens. It's gonna turn this board over here, it's no big deal, it just hits, hits that and it stops, nobody gets hurt. If you are off to the right hand side, okay, especially if it's a longer board, I'm gonna be the first one to get it right here. Okay, that's gonna be very painful. Okay, so there's only one way, and that's to the left. Uh, loose fitting clothes, seven, we've answered that. Eight and nine. Um, eight, you know, number nine, to use caution to reach around a revolving bit. Revolving means spinning. So when this thing's spinning, should you reach around to get sawdust and stuff out of here? No. Okay, you can take a good guess. Nope, that's inviting us to leave and get caught in there. I'd rather see you blow it out of there or shove it off and then deal with it. Okay, number 12, take a look on the inside of the machine here. Okay, you can't see, you might need to kind of peek around here. Here's the insides. When we turn our electric motor on, this is spinning, which turns our pulleys, which turns this right here. All right, we've got different speed settings. Just like if you're riding a bike, you change gears. Okay, here's the front gear. They're asking, should you be on top speed at all times? Top speed is up here. It's really fast. We are going to be on kind of a medium speed. So you guys can see this. There, flip it on. Quite get on there. There is a whole lot faster than Okay, we're gonna stick to the medium speed. Okay, you can you can answer that question. Uh, just depends on what you're drilling through. If you drill through really soft material, you can go a lot faster. Um, hard materials, you go a lot slower, like metal and stuff. You need a metal drill bit, which we don't have. 
All right, so that's that one. Let's see, what's left? Number 13, to try to stop a board that's caught and now spinning. I can't demonstrate this one either, so I'll probably guess the answer. If it's spinning out of control, are you gonna stick your hand in there and catch it? Yeah. Probably not, that's gonna hurt. 14, to drill into anything besides your project. For example, grabbing your neighbor's notebook and drilling that, I'm probably not gonna drill excited about that. Okay.